Today we're going to do a scavenger hunt using Google Earth to look for different types of bridges. So what I'd like for you to do is come down to the start menu and go ahead and type in Google Earth. Many of you are familiar with Google Earth, but I'm going to show you some features that you may not have used before. So Google Earth is going to go ahead and open up and the first thing we're going to see is North America. I'd like to draw your attention down to the bottom left corner where it says layers. For this activity, please make sure that you have the 3D buildings selected. So what we want to do again is we want to search for different types of bridges using um, the entire Earth. Now. Um, bridges most commonly are going to cross over bodies of water and if we think about cities and where they're located cities are also located near large bodies of water because um, back way back in history um, we wanted to make sure that we got um, food and other services um, by ship so again many 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 cities have large bodies of water near them and um, that's also where bridges are located. So let's type in a city and I'm going to use Pittsburgh to begin with because Pittsburgh, it's one of its many nicknames is the city of bridges. So in the top left corner I'm going to type in Pittsburgh comma PA okay, because Pittsburgh is located in PA. I'm going to go ahead and click on search and you're going to see that we are now zooming into Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And again, I know many of you are familiar with Google Earth, okay, but I do want to show you a new feature. Okay, so if we're taking a look, okay, this right here is called Three Rivers in Pennsylvania because there are three rivers that come to a certain point. And if we take a look, we have a lot of these um, vertical lines that are going over the large bodies of water, so we are going to assume that those are bridges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into one of these bridges, okay, and I'm going to zoom into this one right here. And again, many of you have used Google Earth before, so you are familiar with this. Okay, from here, what I'd like for you to do, look at the mouse, okay, and you're going to see that there is the trackball towards the top center. I want you to actually push it in like you're pushing in a button, and then keep holding it and move your mouse down, and you will see that everything is now three-dimensionalized. Okay, We can actually look around at this bridge and the way that I'm doing this again is I'm holding down that center trackball like it's a button and then just moving the mouse around. So I'm kinda doing a 360 around this bridge. Now the bridge itself, okay, this is actually a double decker. This is the Fort Pitt Tunnel right here. It's actually it has a northbound and a southbound. So it's a double decker. So it has two levels, which let me look here. Okay, so we can see the first level right here and the second level is down below. I want to draw your attention to this picture right underneath here. This is the satellite image of the um, of what the Google satellite up in space took. Someone um, used the 3D program Google SketchUp, which you will learn or which you should have learned how to use. They drew this tunnel, or I'm sorry, this bridge, which is the Fort Pitt bridge that leads into the Fort Pitt tunnel. Someone drew this bridge and then it got loaded on top of that image. So if we take a look here, again it's a double decker, we've got one and two and then this is the satellite image of that bridge. Okay, so if we scroll over some of these different dots, it's going to tell me what the Fort Pitt bridge is. So if you look in your worksheet, okay, we want to identify what type of bridge this is. And I would say that this is an arc bridge. Okay, so under arc bridge, you're going to type in the Fort Pitt bridge. And what is it crosses over um, large body of water. If you scroll over some of these other little dots, sometimes it might even tell you what body of water is actually crossing over. And like I said, Pittsburgh is known as the city of bridges. So there are many other different types of bridges. Okay, so we can look at this bridge here. Might need some time to finish loading. Okay, so if we kind of look at this bridge, we can scroll over it and try to find some of those little dots that might tell us what bridge, what the name of this bridge might actually be. 
and it's not PNC Park. Let me see here. Oh, so this one here is the Sixth Street Bridge. And this one is just a single level bridge. Okay, if we're taking a look. I would say that this is probably a, um, let's see here, this is probably a suspension bridge. Okay, because we have two side by side cables, then we have vertical stays coming down, similar to the San Francisco Bridge. Okay, so again, you would say that this bridge would be listed underneath the suspension bridges. And let's see here, so this is the Sixth Street Bridge, but it's also named the Roberto Clemente Bridge, so you can name this either one. Um, I believe this bridge crosses into Sixth Street when you go into Pittsburgh, so this right here would be Sixth Street, but the name of the bridge is also the Roberto Clemente, so you can go ahead and list either one. You can also do, if you, um, you can also go to New York City, you can also try some other different cities. If you start to get a little stuck, what else you can probably do, towards the bottom left corner, you can click on Earth Gallery, and you can go ahead and type in Bridges, and then go ahead and click on Search here. There is one here called the 3D Bridge Tour, and this is going to take you um, to different parts of the world. Um, if we look off to the left, where it says temporary places, we have the three, the bridge 3D tour. Underneath it says start tour here. If you double click on that, it's going to take you to the first one, which is the Mill Street Bridge, which is located in Freeville, New York. And just like anything else three-dimensionally in Google, you want to make sure that it takes time to load. If we take a look here, this is a truss bridge, okay? And then there are other different types of bridges. Once you've looked at this bridge, down towards the bottom, you can go ahead and click on the um, fast forward button, or you can simply off to the left click on the next one, which is the Point Vecchio Bridge in Florence, Italy. And again, this will take you around the entire world looking at different types of bridges.